Hi, Chris. Uh, talking this afternoon after a convincing uh, four-nil victory over Kettering. Enjoy that one. Yeah, uh, dominant. I think um, yeah. from the first whistle through to the ninety-third or whatever it was. I think that there was only one team in it. I think I've heard a couple of rumours, murmurs about they didn't show up. I don't think we let them. I think no. like. I've been disappointed with the first half performance in the last three games. And that was a discussion in there. It was again, like we need to put on a show for people. But I think that for me, where we're trying to build something, if I could bottle something and someone would say like, what's your side? Like that's, that's that. And it's probably the, what, not 75th, 76th minute. We, we, we're three nil up, I think, at that point, where the minute was. And I've still got five bombing past their back line. The movement off of the ball was outstanding. The work rate was excellent. The, the simplicity of the passing yeah. was, 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 was of high quality. We supported the, the front man. And we had them scrambling for quite a while, like, trying to work out how they press and, and they break up the build-up in play. And as we kept saying to the lads in there, like, to start with, we could go through them, then they changed and we had to go around them and then they they, they kept flirting backwards and forwards. But no, I think, um, especially against a, a club like Kettering, um, we've, we've dictated play and uh, it, it, yeah, it, it's one that we can be really, really proud of. I mean, we got off to a fantastic start. Key and back amongst the goals, obviously a goal last week at Needham. Um, two early goals, could even have had a, a hat-trick within mm. 20 minutes. Um that's what you want, isn't it? Come out the gates like that. It is, and like let's let's talk about Kieran. It's he's had this year where he's spent the first half in the twenty threes. He's gone and got loads of confidence in front of goal, uh, probably at a level that he's way way below him. I, I think his ceiling, even the level he's playing at the moment, this is way way below where he could want to go, where he could go. Um, and he's we've said to him that he, this year is for learning. If we can get twenty odd starts at this level, then we benefit next year. Yeah, and what's that is his ninth league goal this, this of the season now. And I thought he'd led the line superbly. Like we spoke about a few like minor tweaks, and I thought he did that really well. But I thought the lad supported him today, and it was about creating opportunity. And Christ, watching Damari down that that side yeah. first half, uh, it was just ball after ball into the box, and that, that that's so refreshing, you know. Yeah, yeah, and. Um... Uh, a, a nice clean sheet for Ruben on his debut. That was the best debut anyone's ever had, isn't it? Like, <laughs> we said to him before the game that um, he, he'll need to dominate his box. Like he's, he's a mountain of a fella, isn't he? So, like, it's not like he, he's not an imposing guy, but we said that he's, he, it's about staying concentrated because you go back, there's only been a handful of games where we've been dictated to over the last few weeks, even though lads are scoring against us and we've not kept the clean sheets, the keeper hasn't had loads to do. And the goals that have been conceded, the large part, there's nothing the keeper could have done. Yeah. So it's just those moments. And you look at, I mean, he's caught that one at the end. He's barely had to move, has he? But I think the, the telling sign of it and the, the bit that maybe give him the confidence and let Kettering know that he's not like a, a, a pushover is where he's come and collected the throw. I think he caught it one-handed like yeah. Spider-Man, didn't he? Um and I think that set the tempo for him. So, yeah, I mean, he's coming to do us a favour, ultimately. Um, we've said it, sort of said it on online anyway, like Finn has done us a huge favour with the situation with Riley. Not ideal, but he's, he's, he's not only kept a clean sheet, Neil, he is a lovely lad, like a really, really nice lad. And that makes it even better. You want people to win when they're like that, you know. And yeah. He settled into the dressing He's been training for a couple of weeks, but he's settled into the dressing room really well. Good, good. And um, I know that um, sponsors today have to pick man of the match. It's going to be a hard task today, isn't it? That is, a, yeah. Brights might get one. I don't, I don't know where Brights has got that engine from all of a sudden. Like It was him going in the 76th minute going burning past people. Yeah, I don't know how you pick one out of that. I think he's had an outstanding game. Uh, I thought Samson and Alfie were outstanding in, in slightly different roles for, for them both. Ron was assured at the back. I thought Charlie had a, a had a very good game. Kean got his two goals, and Damari was just an absolute handful. Like, I, I could and Muzzle was as single, solid as ever. At yeah, the back. I could go for every single one of them. I don't think any of them have have had a bad game today. And if you we we rate them out of five every week as staff, I don't think you can give anyone lower than a four today. Really, I think 
maybe Ruben because he's done nothing. But, um, <laughs> harsh, yeah, he- hella harsh. Um, but yeah, no, it, 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 it's everything that I want the fans down here to watch. Um, and now I guess the question that we ask the group is, can they replicate it? Yeah, you know, because yeah, that is what I want us to do week in week out, and you're gonna have different puzzles to solve against different teams and different personnel, but. What I really liked, Neil, was just how simple the play was and the ball speed was was excellent today. And um, obviously a couple of games to go, Stalbridge next week and then um, Stratford here on the last game, last day of the season. Um, we're not going to be taking our foot off the gas, are we? No, no, no we, we, we've, got, we've got aspirations. You look at Michelover last year, they had a, a really good end to the season. And that's what I want to do. Like I, I feel like we've got a bit of a settled group compared to where we were at. I remember travelling to Alva Church last year and I thought, I don't know who's going to be here next year. Um, and I didn't even know if I was going to be here next year. But when we look at it, you've got a side that are looking to sustain places. And whilst we've got that, we might as well work on the principles that we want to go with next year. And ultimately, we, we, got, we went through that poor period. Um, we then changed it, Neil, and we went 4 4 2, and it was very ugly, but it was effective, and we were winning games. And then it just got to the point of where we said as staff, like, look, let's, let's build for next year. Like, let's learn to see who can and can't do what we want to do. And I think if you bottle that and you, you, you take that, I think everyone's ticked the box of what we need. But ultimately, I want that week in, week out, that bravery to yeah. shift and move. But the, the, the work rate off of the ball, and I'll probably pick a few out if, if it's okay, Neil. I think Andron, Sampson, Alfie and Fabs were a catalyst today. They got to little drop zones and um, the, the, the counter press was really good. And we didn't allow them to breathe on the football, you know. Yeah. They started to fight amongst each other. There's a couple of moments in there that are shocking. Um, but that, that's, that, that's the nature, I guess, that they have to deal with. It's nothing to do with us, but... Um, I think it was a professional performance all the way through, mate. But to go answer your question, no. Like, I want to finish as high as possible. I want to get as close to the playoffs as, as we possibly can. And I want to take that confidence into pre-season. So, yeah, the, the idea is to win both games. Enjoy the coach next week because it's our last one. <laughs> um, but the, the idea, we'll go there to try and win the game, you know. Nice one. Thanks a lot, Cheers, Chris. Man. Thank Cheers. you. Cheers.